here. Today I'm showcasing my first Halloween tutorial featuring Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And so I hope you enjoy the video tutorial and please enjoy. Okay, starting out the tutorial with Fairy Drop BB Cream. My right side of the face is already done. Now I'm feeling out the left side. As you can see, the sponge applicator makes it really easy to apply the BB cream. The shade I'm using is light ochre and it doesn't have any gray undertone like most BB cream, so it matches my skin really well. Now moving on to Smack Studio Sculpt Concealer in NC20. Using a Sigma brush in F70, applying it under my eye where um, I have a dark circles that I want to cover up by gently patting it on. And as you can see, this concealer is about full coverage. So it will cover dark circles and imperfections. I am also applying it in the dips of my nose. This way it will cover unwanted redness and it will give the illusion of a smaller nose. Now I'm using my finger to blend out the concealer. Now finishing off my skin with Amazing Matte Powder in Light. And using a Sigma Tapered Face Brush in F25. Now I'm putting on the powder all over my face, making sure that I get all the corners. I really like the tapered end on this brush. I could get all corners on my face really well. Now moving on to highlighting my face with Candy Doll Powder Highlighter and Cream Beige. And using a Sigma's Medium Angled Shading Brush in E70, I am highlighting the bridge of my nose. Also highlighting the high bones of my eyebrows. Using a large angle brush at 40, I'm blending out the nose bridge. And then adding some highlights on upper cheek to create an illusion of high cheekbone. Now filling out the spaces between my eyebrow, here I am using THC's Automatic Pencil in Brown. Since I'm going to wear a blonde wig, I would like my eyebrows to be lightened. So here I am using Cosmagic Eyebrow Mascara in Light Brown. It's basically a mascara for your eyebrows, so now you can see my black eyebrows turn into light brown. Moving on with priming my eyelid with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now I want my eyeshadow to last all night, so by using a primer, the eyeshadow will adhese to your eyelids really well. And I'm just using my finger to dab it on. Now I'm using Sigma Spare Eye Palette and using the color approach. Um, applying the lightest shade in the palette all over my lids. This way I want my lids to have a defined crease. Now using a medium brown shade, this one is called Act in the palette. I'm applying the shade in my crease area where my eye sockets meet and creating a V shape on my outer eyes. And I'm using the medium light brown shade to create a more of a natural looking crease area. Using a brown shade, this one is Hitch in this palette, I'm going to create a wing on my outer eye to elongate my eyes for a bigger eye effect. And starting from the middle of my eye, and taking it out where my shadows meet. Using the tapered blending brush that came with this palette, which is E25, I'm blending out the eyeshadow, making sure there's no harsh edges. Going back to using the shade approach, using the Sigma Short Shader brush in E20, I'm going to apply a highlighting shade in my inner corner of my eye and underneath my eye to highlight my eyes. Using the same brush, using the shade Hitch again, I'm going to apply to outer corner of my eye, starting from the mid of my eye, and creating a V shape connecting with the eyeshadow on top, where I made the winged eyeshadow earlier. Now with a liquid eyeliner, this one is K Palette One Day Tattoo Eyeliner. Going in and creating a winged eye effect. This eyeliner is great because it gives a very good control with the felt tip. So you could get a really thin and defined wing with this eyeliner. Now as you can see, I'm extending the wing about a quarter inch outside of my eyes. By creating the wing, this is enlarging the eyes and getting it ready for the false eyelashes that I'm about to apply. For the eyelashes, I'm using Magic Magic Lashes in number 2. Now place the lashes in the center of your eyes. And then after that, adjust the edges to your eyes. This way it's easier to apply the false lashes onto your eyes. Make sure to push the eyelash band onto your eyes. I want the middle of the eyelashes to go upward and the ends to go downward. So just press on it gently, making sure it's in place. 
Now with an eyeliner, I'm going over the lash glue, making sure the eyeliner stays black, and filling in wherever there's a gap. I want my eyelashes to be really full, so I'm adding another layer of eyelashes. This is a half lash with the extended ends, um, so I'm applying it from the mid of my eyes. In creating a more of a rounder doll-like effect by adding in a second layer of lashes, you could see with and without the second layer of lashes. I'm going to fill my lashes with a volumizing mascara. Here I'm using Dolly Wink Volume Mascara. Mixing in my natural lashes into the false lashes with a zigzag motion, giving off more volume to your lashes. Now I'm applying the mascara on my lower lashes. Now using a white waterproof eyeliner, this one is 24-7 by Urban Decay, and I'm applying it on the lower tight line. This is going to open up your eyes even more, going in from inner corner to outer corner. Now I'm going in and applying a second coat of mascara. Make sure to concentrate on applying it one by one so that they are nicely separated. Now using the shader shade, here I'm using Mellish in 05. I'm applying the contour shade on my temples, side of my cheek, and around my forehead to give off the rounder, smaller face effects to them. Now applying a blush, I am using Mellish in O2. This blush has a nice baby pink shade to them, perfect for this dolly look. I'm using a large angled contour brush again and applying it in apples on my cheek and lightly blending it outwards. Now I'm using MAC Luster Lipstick in C Sheer. I wanted to use a shade that was in between peach, pink, and red. And this shade is perfect to give off that soft but defined lips. That was really pretty shade for this look. Lastly, I'm using a lip gloss. This one is Candy Doll in Macaron Pink. This one is very vibrant baby pink. And I'm applying it on the center of my lips to give off illusion of fuller, rounder, juicier lips. Okay, last step. Now I'm getting my hair ready for the wig. I'm going to tie it up in a loose bun. Wearing a hair cap, this will keep my hair in place. Making sure I have all the loose hair in the hair cap. Okay, ready for the wig. Make sure your wig is nicely combed and to put it on, put from front to backwards and then adjust your wig. This one has a part in the center, so I know where to position it. And now I'm wearing the black bow that Alice wears. This is a regular cloth ribbon from a craft store that I just picked up and tying it up in a bow. Okay, the look is now complete. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please support by subscribing to my videos. And for more information, please visit ekiblog.com. And also, if you have any questions, you can reach me on Twitter at ekieki.